Hey everyone, it's Anne, and um, I didn't put up a video as I really scheduled because um, I've been busy moving into my dorm. <laughs> um, it was hectic. It was really hectic. My first day here, um, my mom made a really big deal about um, hurrying and unloading stuff in my dorm because you get a permit to use the loading zone for about an hour or so. And so my parents made a huge deal about that, and we rented a cart, and they charge you if you go over a certain amount of time, and it was just a lot of, here's a box, unload, empty the box, find a place for it, so the whole place was a mess. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to tidy it up before my roommate came, and I, I really like my roommate. Um, I, I knew her a bit from church, but um, we had never really talked prior to, um, um, you know, deciding to be roommates for UT, so it, it was a pleasant surprise and it's working out pretty great. Um, we hung out yesterday, being my first day here. Um, I helped her move in. We met up with some of my friends, Ricky, I don't know if you guys know him, and his girlfriend Rachel. They took us up and down West Campus on a street call called um, Guadalupe Street, and <laughs> that's my roommate. She's kind of back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we went up and down, um, we, we had the best ice cream ever. It's kind of like Cold Stone and Marble Slab, but 15,000 times better. It's called Amy's Ice Cream, and I had Mexican ice, van Mexican vanilla ice cream for the first time ever. It's so rich and delicious, and prior to that we ate at a place called the Spicy Pickle, which is like, um, a better version of Subway, that's all I can say. Like, the prices were comparable, but um, the fare there was so much better. After that, we went to a video store. I'm probably not getting this correctly in chronological order because yesterday was such a long day. But we eventually went to a video store and we rented um, Tokyo, which is a triptych film. Three very famous directors, one being my Michel Gondry and um, yeah, we eventually went back to Rachel's house and we watched the film, and by then it was getting late and my friend Nick gave us a ride back to our dorm. And we, my roommate and I, we didn't sleep until around 4 in the morning. Um, don't tell our parents that. <laughs> um, and today was just hectic. Um, we woke up late and then we kind of met our new neighbor because we have a connecting bath. And she, her name's Patricia. I'm surprised I remember her name, but... Yeah, it was nice seeing her for the five seconds that we did, and then we went out, um, kind of went shopping. I mean, there's an Urban Outfitters and a couple of vintage shops. It's tax-free weekend, but we didn't really find anything worthwhile. Thinking, like, college kids, you know, saving wants versus needs. They gave us that talk at orientation, but, yeah, uh, today was just awful because of the heat. Like, it was sweat dripping down our backs <laughs> or like at 11 in the morning. It's a really gross visual, I know. Um, and then, so after our mini shopping trip, we went back to the dorm. Um, we grabbed a quick bite to eat. And then we researched textbook prices. We compared them against the university co-op, which is the huge UT apparel store and bookstore. We compared those prices against Amazon prices, and we were like, Amazon is a lot cheaper. And then we eventually went to another bookstore where we were like, this is the cheapest we'll probably ever find. So we bought a bunch of books. Um, we bought a bunch of books. We realized that our dorm is on the other <laughs> end of the street, like down the street, really down the street. So we're in like 190 something degree weather. <laughs> Two little girls with like, six seven hundred dollars worth of textbooks walking down the street um it it was probably normal for most people to see but it was just it was just funny and we like collapsed as soon as we got in and so yeah and i'm all settled i guess my next video i'll just show you what my dorm room looks like because right now you have a teaser of <laughs> how everything is um i like staying in an all-girls dorm even though i've only spent one night here it's very quiet Mm. 
it's a nice oasis away from the chaos that can be Austin, Texas. Bye everyone.